My name's Alicia Tormey, and I'm an encaustic painter. The piece that I have there now is Glacier Song, and that is a work that is inspired by climate change and our retreating glaciers. And the color palette is all of these beautiful, rich, deep blues and uh, white, and it's all done in encaustic, uh, as well as um, shellac, which is sort of my technique uh, that I developed and almost all of my work is done with encaustic and shellac. And the opportunity to have my work hanging in the embassy, uh, I feel like that is um, making a cultural impact and to have other people see my work, to even be invited to have my work displayed there um, really is an honor and a jewel in my artist crown, if you will. Um, it really is validating for me as an artist and inspiring. And I've always believed in the power of art and how it crosses every boundary. There's no language barrier. There's no economic barrier. There's no cultural barrier. Art is art. And um, it is truly my goal as an artist to have my work make an impact, be seen, uh, communicate to the world, to viewers, the importance of art and the relevance of art today. And knowing that my art is out in the world, in another country, and making an impact really is um, an honor for me. I have been an artist my entire life. I've always been a maker. I've always been creative. It was never a question what I was going to do with my life. And honestly, my biggest inspiration is curiosity. I'm so curious about everything and um, nature in particular, because it's so, such an integrated part of our lives. And I am so fascinated by the patterns that appear in nature, by um, the effects of wind and water and temperature on, on the world, on life. Those things are really fascinating to me. And when I'm creating, um, my work has a really organic look and feel to it. And of course, my materials themselves are actually organic and the patterns that emerge uh, really resonate with me from patterns that I see in the natural world. And I just find that really inspiring and it just makes me wanna keep creating in that vein, if you will. I had first seen encaustic in the late 1980s and even today, encaustic is incredibly obscure when compared to other art materials. But in the 80s, it was just unheard of. But I was working in an art gallery and we were hanging an exhibition and the artist had incorporated a very tiny amount of encaustic on a much larger piece. And I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I had to learn more and I had to know more about this material. But it was actually probably a decade later from my first exposure to encaustic that I started working with it. And encaustic is painting with a medium that's made of beeswax and Damar resin. In order to work with encaustic, you need to heat it to liquefy it so that you can use it as a paint medium. And unlike normal paint materials where you're typically and traditionally working wet and dry, with encaustic, you're working hot and cold. And when it's hot, it's liquid and you can use it like a paint. When it's cold, you can carve into it or you can actually cast it and pour it into molds. So it's really a versatile and super interesting medium to work with. And because you have to work with it hot and cold, and as soon as the encaustic leaves a heat source, it begins to quickly cool down and solidify again. So when I'm painting with it, I have to quickly apply it to my painting surface and then very quickly follow up 
with heat in order to reliquify it and fuse it down to the painting. And for that, I use a torch. Uh, you can use other heated tools, but my preference is a torch. And I really like uh, that my creative practice involves fire. And uh, it's just really, it's a really fun and dynamic uh, paint medium to work with. It's also incredibly challenging, as you might imagine, if it's quickly going from a liquid to a solid, if you're constantly having to reheat it. So there's this creative challenge about it that I feel like I'm sort of chasing the material sometimes. And it requires your full attention and full engagement. And I think that's also why it's captivated me for over 25 years now. Typically, it takes me about 40 hours to make a piece sometimes more sometimes less and then of course when you start talking about scale so the larger the work uh the more involved it is and especially with encaustic it's very challenging to work at scale so it just depends on where i'm trying to get with that work how long it's going to take me to execute some pieces take me as long as three months to finish but that doesn't mean i'm working on it every single minute because with art there's there are moments when you put that work aside and contemplate it, live with it, reflect on it, determine what next to do. Uh, sometimes the work talks to you and you know what you need to do next. Other times, if you can't find a way in, maybe that work is done. But I like to have a long period of gestation with the work um, before moving on uh, either to work on that further or call that piece done.